the season with last year, the, the, the roster that they oh, had yeah. at the end of the year, yeah. didn't really have a designated shooter, if you will. And now by adding Kupono and by adding Troy Murphy, two guys really proficient from downtown. Was that the plan all offseason to get guys who would be known for having a reputation for, for making outside shots? Well, you know, for me with this team, I always, you know, looking at this team from afar, the one thing that you understand is this team has guys that can score. This team moves the ball very well. They have a great understanding of what to do on offense in the floor. Uh, the one thing that I thought that they did lack a little bit last year is a consistent threat from behind the three-point line. And uh, so I felt that uh, we needed to go get a guy uh, that could still play that was that was a known threat out there because when you have guys like Capone, when you have guys like Murphy, uh, they could they could be averaging three to five points a game. But I guarantee you they're going to be in your game plan because I coached against them. And uh, the one thing that even if you didn't say it, man, as soon as Capone came on the floor, Troy's on the floor, Troy Murphy's on the floor, you hear our guys on their own say, hey, don't leave him, shooter, 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 don't leave him. So what does that mean? That means the floor is open that much more for the rest of your guys to go to work because I'm not going to call many plays for Capone. He's, he could run off of screens, and he's not bad at that. I'm not going to call many plays for Troy Murphy. But uh, the one thing that they know that they have to be ready to do is knock down shots when our playmakers play, make plays, whether they make plays in the post or off the dribble. You mentioned a lot of times, not just them, but I think Devin, Steve, Derek, you're not going to call plays for them. How do they go about creating and finding their own shot? Uh, through proper spacing and movement, you know, and, and then uh, you, again, you got a guy like Kobe Bryant, you got a guy like Paul Gasol, you got a guy like Andrew Bynum, okay, you got a guy like Meta, okay, mm -hmm. World Peace. I said his whole name for the first time. Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, you got a guy like Meta. Those guys will command double teams for you, uh, and then when they when they do. Uh, if we move the ball like we're capable of moving the ball, uh, then those guys will get their looks. You know, uh, Now, every once in a while, we have a few gadgets where we'll keep those guys uh, happy in terms of throwing them the bone, mm -hmm. but, it, but I ain't going to have it much. <laughs>